Wie geht's, Leute? I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and of course, thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hearts of Iron 4, playing the Great War Redux mod as the German Empire. Last time, we smashed the crud out of the Russian Empire, and now they're the Russian National State. Also, once again, led by Mama Tessa. But, uh, yeah, we had a pretty good time. Belarus has full independence, which is not cool. Very not cool. This guy's going to get taken out. Ooh, nice, that's really good. Uh, we have the United Baltic Duchy under us, as well as Lit Lithuania, Lit Lithuanian. Oh wait, what is in that? Ooh. Okay, so that's just because it's part of the war effort. That's cool. That's fine. At this point, we really need to get down here. I need to get more rubber somehow, some way. So it's going to be a long time before we get there, and we need rubber so we can make naval bombers to bomb the heck out of the enemy's fleets. So it is what it is. Now, I could trade for it, but I don't think I have a direct route to the Dutch East Indies, and they're on islands anyways, so, yeah. That being said, oh, a division. Cool. Show up right there. Oh, that's why. Y'all go Western Front, Western Front, yes. Take everyone but three guys. See what you can do about that. See they, see, see they'll attack us. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, now, that's nice. Now, does this make us have... Oh, we got a war for Brest... Litovsk. Seems like we should have had that originally, but, you know, whatever. Oh! Oh, we just got him, my friends. We just got him. And time to use a little bit of Hindenburg. Awesome. Very awesome. We could go to war with Bulgaria. Someone said just get military access through them, because they'll give it to us. Well, hmm. We could do that. Or, we could just say that Austria is going to get a, a little larger. Now, so people want me to play as Bulgaria. I will probably eventually, just not right now. I've got a couple other things planned, but I think I think it's time for a little a little uh, Ukrainian war. We're gonna make sure that oh they're oh they're also guaranteed by them. Nice. If that's the case, let's do this. Let's get the tank in here down here first. Ah, uh, twenty combat with three point six armor. Wow, that's really bad. That's really really bad. But let's see what happens. Russia said, said it does not recognize Ukraine. We need to negotiate with the Ukrainian government. They must be neutral, and we recognize their sovereignty and integrity on the part of Germany. Oh! Okay. Ukrainian Hetma. Awesome. Well, we're not going to go to war with you now. Cool. That means it's Bulgarian time. They're not even guaranteed by anyone now. Oh, God. That's going to take even longer to get to war then. That's okay, then. That's okay. Because then I'm going to pull you guys down here and shift all of you guys to the Western Front. Head on over here, guys, and let's see what we can do. I don't want to attack with just one tank. I really don't. I really don't. Let's see. These 40 combat with tanks, they have 3.4 piercing. Now, this tank division does have 3.6, but that's, those are horses. Infantry-wise, they have 3.2, so we might have enough armor on here to hold out. Now, they do have forts over here, which means we'll probably have to go to war with Belgium. Let's be real. I know this is Luxembourg. 100 days, let's do that. Anti-partisan stuff. Very nice, very nice. Passive defense Passive defense is always great to do. Always, 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 always. Uh, you know what? They might... The British... Some people might have ships around here. Let's see if we can do something about that. Perfect fighters. Very good. We're going to keep you just here. And then... Oh, man. We're going to blow up this airbase. We're building a lot of roads just because we can. Do that. Do that. Do that. And then, since we built, we got some more space here, we're going to build some more civilian workshops. Even though we really need more hmm, military workshops. No, they're not workshops. Go ahead and do that. We can spread the uh, guns around. I'm glad we did not have to go to war with the Ukraine. I'm really glad for that. Really, really glad. Because that would not have probably gone that well for us. Early heavy tanks. Pop them up by five more. Convoy escorts, nice. Carriers, carriers. Get that one. We gotta really focus on the naval doctrine here. Alright, so you guys. Probably doing okay. We've got enough fuel. We can always make more fuel. Challenge is Luxembourg. That's good. That's good. Plus, air support can do some naval stuff. Well, sometimes. But not right now. Disperse fighting. That's fine. We've got enough air XP. Let's go ahead and do that. Make it easy for us. You guys are fighters, you guys are close to air support. Give you guys down to here, because you already have some airplane coverage. Ah, so obviously, Russia emerged from the Great War as a loser. 
The Soviet government, together with representatives of the provisional government, concluded a peace treaty with Germany. Under the terms of the agreement, Russia ceded territory of Poland and the Baltic states and was obliged to reduce its fleet and army. The Bolshevik government tried to delay negotiations, but in the end, they had to cede to Germany because of a threat of the German offensive. The Eastern Front is quiet. <sighs> I love it when the plan comes together. Actually, we're still fighting the U.S. Passive defense? Good, good. Even more passive defense. You never know what the heck people might be up to. One guy there, really discovering what... You know what? If we have our spies here, can we see if there's going to be a French mutiny? If we can, I mean, that'd just be great. Infiltrate the civilian administration, that'd be nice. Apparently, from your comments from yesterday, guys, Abtai Lung Dry Bay is the actual name given to the secret police or agencies of Germany at that time. So, really cool, really cool. I'm going to keep the name. I think that fits very well. And Luxembourg, you're going to be under us. And then we'll go to war with Belgium. After that, well, let's see. How long would that take? Oh, actually, hold on. We can just schliefen. Yeah, we can just schliefen in five days. Now, we could do the same thing with Luxembourg, but I don't want to do that with Luxembourg just because I want to give it time. I want to be able to build up some planning and be able to thrust myself into there. Thrust, thrust, thrust. Military parade? Ah, uh, I'm glad. I love Eastern Europe so much. Good, we got those guys too. Alright, so, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should befriend Sweden or put pressure on Scandinavia. Both sides have support. However, there's just a little bit more support for put pressure on Scandinavia, so we'll do so. And we also have other focuses we could do down here, so I think it'd be appropriate. So, if we can get, you know, at least Sweden, maybe Norway in here, maybe Denmark, I'd be totally okay with that. And, what? Well, these guys really have a death wish. Is there even a ta Hold on. Are they... Oh, uh, the tanks are in reserve, so we can't see if they're going to attack us yet. One at a time, and then we'll take out Bulgaria just because, well, as much as I love the Bulgarians, they're kind of in the way, and they don't want to join our faction because they're in their own faction. And we, I think we need a Berlin to Kuwait highway. I mean, right now, Kuwait's kind of under siege. Uh, not under our territory, but that's okay. You know, things happen. The Ottomans are doing great. I'm loving how the Ottomans are doing the Ottoman state. They took out Egypt. They're breaking into Sudan. I mean, German allies really aren't bad. It's, it's weird. It's really weird. They're really not that bad. And we just got our second tank division. Train if you need to. Because we're going to put so much pressure on this section here. With more close air support. Oh man, if we can get enough fighters and close air support here, it, we might be able to actually break through. We might be able to. Oh, we got some naval bombers too. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. Let time go on a little bit. We're going. To, we're going to need to get more fuel. All right, that's good. That's good. Come over here, because I'm going to deploy these ships. Oh, Finland. Oh, that's not good. Hello, uh, Manner. Manner. But oh, we got two more ships. This is actually screened well enough. You guys are not screened very well, but you guys come right there. See if you can find anything. Von Hipper, I hope you'll do great. And actually we are going to put Chief of Navy with Von Terpitz. Oh, that's that's really good. Holy crap. 20% is awesome. 5% is not that great. 20% convoy rating is pretty good. Von Terpitz, 50% attack armor for capital ships, 50% attack and defense for screens and naval doctrine research. Oh my god. Oh, Portuguese. What the hell are you doing over here? We're going to need more fuel. But luckily, we've got a good old big boy. Oh, oh, what am I doing? Training with Venezuela. Oh my goodness, how have my convoy's not been killed yet? Regardless, the Cuban Republic? Sure. Uh, um, ah, the Mountain Republic. Nice. Very good. Very good. We're going to need more military factories, too. And boom, right there. Keep building up. Look at that. Another Canadian convoy. Very good. Giving Avon Hipper just a slight experience. Hello. <clears throat> oh yeah, we weren't we were not at war with Italy yet. The Well <sighs> Can't say I didn't see this one coming, right? Well we saw it coming pretty much, so. Well, that's actually a really interesting focus. It gives um Serbia claims as well as the Ukraine U United Kingdom claims on parts of the Middle East. Also, if you didn't know, I do have a cup of coffee here, so 
really tasty good stuff. Muy bueno. And just a bunch of crazies at attacking my line. I mean, come on. I won't go to war with Bulgaria if they want to join our faction, though. And you guys are defending. I will send cavalry down south if needed. Red Finland is gone. Thank God we can't deal with commies here. That's good. Uh, I'll put production efficiency cap is really important. I'm going to grab some more artillery. Because we want to just smash everyone coming through. Or everyone we're going to see there. There we go. Alright, you guys stop training. Uh, who's next? Actually, who's... I can let time go on. Albania might be good to take out. Uh, red movement. Let the Russians and the Reds kill each other off. We don't care. Alright, you guys are good enough. Actually, before we do that... um, You know what? I will accept that division. Oh my god, you're all the way down here? Why are you all the way down there? Because... Southern Front. We're going to need to defend this area. Ludendorff, it's time for you to shine. Even though, you know, I would have preferred to put you on something else. But hey, regardless, whatever. Nice. I really don't want to divert divisions away. Uh, do that, something like that. Wow, they're really... Why are they so crazy? So they're guaranteed by these people. Oh, guaranteed by Bulgaria. Well, it's a claim state. It's part of the HRE, so it's part of us. Thank you. Well, Bulgaria, you've made your choice. I didn't want to do this, but, uh, you know, like I said, they made their choice. I should have put some planes on here first. Well, sure, why not? Could you guys win here? Maybe not Sophia. Hey, Luxembourg, thank you. Operational destruction, very good. We're gonna grab better fighter stuff. It just that's so incredibly important. It's not even funny. Because once Bulgaria's gone, I mean we have we'll put them on the line with the Italians. So, oh, hold on. What just happened? Did they go to war with Belgium? Please don't go to war with Belgium yet. Please don't go to war with Belgium. Please don't go go to war with Belgium. Hmm. We could Schlieffen into there. I mean, we're pretty much ready to go, but. Hmm. So this, I really don't trust the planes too much. I trust them a little bit. Come up here. Just because you never know what they might or might not do. Everyone come here, do that, that, that. There we go. I want to build them up more, but we just deployed some more planes, so it is what it is. Ah, the Baltic, Dutch, Lithuanian, Poland want to help us out. Yes. As soon as Belgium joins, I'm going to thrust myself into there if we can. Especially that little tile. Get to the sea. Get to Ghent, maybe. Spread out these lines a little bit further. That'd be good. And, you know, I we'd, we'd have to do much more of this. Albrecht? Albrecht? Falkenhain? Von Falsrith? I can't say that right now. I can't think. Uh, von Einem? Great job. Um, Carl? Great job. Bulgaria? I mean, they made a bad choice, man. Put pressure on Scandinavia. Cool. Invasion of Finland. We can wait on that first. Let's see. This is nothing. Let's see. Pacific Shipyard. Atlantic class. Ooh. We might want that one just because it is 1917. We could research more ships. So. You guys are doing a good job. Von Hipper. Just kind of hanging out. 4% more skill left. We're going to need a little bit more fuel eventually. We're going to need a little bit more. I don't think there's any new... There is opened up for rubber yet. No, that's okay. Oh, Kuban. Disappointing. I'd rather get it from you guys. Oh, hello. Portuguese. Why are the Portuguese there? Look at that. That's just beautiful. There's nothing they can do to stop us here. Uh, so, it looks like the Ottomans and the Austro-Hungarians Austro are going to get a little larger. Very nice. Very nice. We have a war goal against Denmark and Sweden, huh? All right, well, so be it, so be it. You know, you never know. Good, good. And there goes Bulgaria. Oh, it just, it's just a literal peace deal. I wanted to help them out so much, but... Mm, you know what? How about... So Austria-Hungary will get Romania and Bulgaria. Since I've already taken all of this, 
Let's give them Bulgaria, because I think that just would be fair, honestly, to them. Uh, I hope they release him as a puppet. It's going to look terrible. And now the Ottomans... We get the rest of this, so they can link up to Greece. Oh, that is so good. Oh, yeah, that's almost a nice line right there. Uh, and you guys are done, so... Uh, I'm not going to put all these divisions here. We're going to do it like... You know what? Just send Carl this way. Carl. Send you guys up to Denmark. If we need to invade Sweden, we probably will be able to. So, we're going to take out Denmark first. All right. And then maybe navally invade Sweden. We might actually do that. It actually might not be a bad idea. Let's let time go on just a little bit. I want to see if the Italians actually go to war with us. Because the French might shift soldiers away. We're going to try to navally invade these guys. One, two, three, maybe. I'm only going to be attacking ports because, well, you might as well. I don't know how big the Swedish Navy is, though, so that could be a problem. Uh, see what happens. How big is the Swedish Navy? I mean, our Navy's not that big, so we got to... Oh, it's, it's nothing. A couple destroyers, that's not bad. Very good, very good. Alright, so how much longer are you going to take for your focus, Italy? Come on. Right, I'm too weak. We can't do anything over here. We can't defend properly? No, never. Uh, just in case, do that too. And over there. Thank you. Good. I really want to I do kind of want to wait to get a little bit more fuel as well. So. Because fuel ain't cheap. Oh, fuel is not cheap. I right, get a few more military factors in there at 100%. 100%. I'm going to keep it like that for now. Treaty of London. Ah, uh, and they've joined. Ah. Uh, well, come on, Italy. Oh, well, you guys are attacking. Now, Carl, I don't, I don't want you to screw this up, but I would love some more infrastructure here. You know, if that's the case, I really don't want to hurt the supply in the situation here. Stay on like that. There you go. You can be a fallback line. Don't hurt the Austrians' abilities for defense. So, there you go. I want to bait him into attacking us or our ally. Mm, they might not win there, which is not good. You can come back in there, maybe. Even if, you, even if we lose that, it's still no biggie. Ah, the separate France is done. Oh, they invaded us down here. No, 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 no. It's given Italian soil, but... Mm, mm, mm. That's good. In, it's, it's so great having backup armies. Alright, so we're going to need even more fuel after this. Wow. Kuban, uh, give me more fuel. We're going to need it, son. You know what? I love this. I love what you guys are doing. Just go and go home. It's costing us too much fuel, especially with these airplanes. Just too much, man. I don't think our infantry is using any sort of fuel either. Let's see. Uh, fuel usage zero, so. Oh, you guys. Well, we might need it against the Italians eventually, so. Thank you. Actually, since we're here. Path to defense, government staff for schools. Sure, why not? Oh, no, no, no. Please give me that fuel. We need the fuel for our invasion. Oh, Russian. Yes, Russia. Welcome aboard, Russia. To the fuel train. You, uh, you, you don't want to join? You don't want to join the war? Good, don't join the war, because we got to get some more fuel first. See, Ottomans. Mm, slightly worse times, but actually, that's not too bad. I mean, they're they're building themselves up. Oh, god dang it. Gone, go on. Four... Uh, I'd rather not give it to you. I'd rather give it to my ally. If I'm only going to get four, I'd rather give it, get it from you guys. Rubber-wise... Oh, I'm trading rubber... Ah, uh, Belgium, that makes sense. Chromium? Let's get from the last... Oh, no, no. No, I don't want to get, do that from Ukraine, because that's going to raise their economy. Good. Keep making those big ships, guys. Keep making them. We got a lot of army XP and air XP. That's nice. Ah, oh, another tank. Good. Uh, Atlantic class. Very nice. Pacific shipping building yard... Huh. Straits blockaded. Invasion Finland. Oh, Obs Oberster Kriegsherr. We get better, way better recovery rate. Political advisor Ludendorff. Gains Paul von Hindenburg. Army morale genius. Division recovery plus 12%. Nice. Oh, they actually pushed us out. Huh. Oh, we're still trying to get out of here. 
It's pretty bad. Carl. Upgrades, very nice. Yeah, I really still don't want to hit her supply that badly. You guys are over there. Who's... Yeah, you guys... Um, you know what? I really don't trust the Austrians with that. We're going to have to put logistics on these guys. Do they have logistics yet? Oh, they don't. There you go. You don't need that. That's going to kill our support equipment, too, but whatever. I'd love to, but mm, we can't really afford that. Let's give more support equipment. That's incredibly important right now. And build up more military factories, because we need them. Bop, bop, bop. Ah, good. Get more fuel. Uh, sure, yeah. I'll take that. Wait, you're not in my lines. Oh, yeah, you are. Oh, oh, that makes it... Oh. Oh, screw that, then. Yeah, that's awesome. Where are you guys at? You guys are down there. So you guys are the other army. So I'm going to actually stack you guys up here. We got to take out Denmark, so... You guys should do okay by yourselves. Because since Nor Norway, of all people, joined us... We're going to go through here. Because we have a war goal against Sweden until 1919, which is good. Break up the Danish. Link up with the Norwegians. Take out Sweden. Hmm. Wow, that's a, that's a weird line, not going to lie. Yes, we will gladly accept it. And as we're trying to get a little bit more fuel. Like I'm saying, fuel, fuel, fuel is super important. No fuel, no success. Literally no success. Take everyone, but like... Go there. Come on. You don't want to attack me? What? Alright, so now we're defending here, which is good. Good stuff. The Italians chose very poorly. Incredibly poorly. If they joined us, we would probably fairly easily smash into France from the south. Probably. Oh, look at that. Wow. Denmark, you have... Fallen. <laughs> wow. Come on. Ah, I love the Danes. So if that's the case, I'm going to set you guys, all of you guys, to just do this right now. Because I'm going to have to ferry these soldiers up north. But before we do that, we got to get some garrisons up here. And we still have enough people to do it. Veteran Fighter Veteran Initiative. Mission Naval Efficiency is very good. Naval. Oh, that's good. That's some good stuff right there. Yes, please. Get some of that as well, since we got a lot of it. We don't have all the fuel in the world, so you guys are going to have to come up here. Good luck. Don't die on the way over there. And you guys can stack right there. Very good. Oh, you guys have that. You're up there. Alright, nice. Could use a little bit more fuel, but... Eh. Naval Department. Good. Military factories. We need more. 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 90. 100. Oh, 0 out of 7. Nice. That is a perfect place to build stuff. Awesome. Where do we have resistance? Who do we have to put down? Look, oh, Luxembourg. No one cares. Ah, oh, subsidiary carrier roll. Very good. Let's grab that one for help our light cruisers out. Oh, someone invading us in the Western Balkans? Yes, they are. Ah, you landed just like what you should have done at Gallipoli. Landed without a naval port. Ah. And they're still fighting over there. Wow, they're actually winning a little bit, but... Ah, eh, Rhodes is Italian soil. What do you expect? Good. Alright, we good to go? Eh, we might not be able to naval invade, that's okay with me. Well, it's time to go to war with Sweden. Sorry if you wanted me to ally with them, but it is what it is, you know. So, even though I want to puppet Sweden, I might just give them to the Norwegians and I'll just take out, just fully annex Denmark. I think that, that might work out better. Gave the Norwegians some time to rule over the Swedes, you know, just just Scandinavian things. Because before World War One, Norway, I don't think, was very inde wasn't independent for a very long time. So maybe we'll give them some authority, you know. Maybe we'll put 
maybe make a royal marriage with the uh, Nor Kingdom of Norway. Hmm. Oh, god dang, we need more fuel. Alright, so you guys are gonna go home. Go home. Nice. Very nice. As you can tell, I'm pretty much avoiding going to war with France yet. I guess I, I did want more fuel, like I said, but. Mm. Oh! Mobilization speed, recruitment population factor? Yes. Yes. We got enough political power. War economy. Aviation designer. We got some Falkers. This is going to make ourselves really strong here. Even more agility on top of our uh, doctrines. Our air doctrine. That's nice stuff, man. Diplomatic training. Awesome. And since we've, since we've been spending time... God dang, we're out of stuff again. Uh, you... Frame. I forgot what I was going to say, too. Ah, good, another Panzer. Okay, I just head straight for Stockholm. Which means this army is not doing anything, which is fine with me. I think we still wanted to go to war with Barlaris, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. So here's the plan. We'll probably end up taking out Belarus and then take out France. First of all, because we're not going to use any fuel, or we're going to try to not use too much fuel taking those guys out. Uh, Soviet Republic of what the heck? Well, whatever. We'll probably be okay, even if we don't know what they said. And there goes Sweden. Thank you, my friends. Thank you very much. Kingdom of Finland. Oh, we need to do an invasion in Finland. Regardless, regardless, uh, you know what? We should we should probably still do okay without too much help. Cancel win these, cancel win these, whatever. You guys hail from the north. You guys come from this side over there. From the west. There you go. Who's not giving me my goods? Oh, you know what, Belgium? That is cause for a declaration of war, probably. <laughs> Alright. And you guys go home because, well, can't afford to do this anymore, man. Can't really afford it. How are the ships coming along? Still working. Portable radios. No one's been caught yet, which is really nice. And they're not even fighting us here anymore. Alright, so be it. How strong is Belgium? They're not that strong. They're really not that strong. Alright. I really don't want to use tanks until we're really ready. 220,000 gain a day. I really need to... Happy 1918, though. There we go. Alright, well, time to go. Time to go. Oh, look, we got some ships up here in the, the Netherlands. Okay. Well, screw this, then. Take one of you guys off. Put you in the Benelux. We're going to need that. Uh, cycle fighters here and there. There you go. We need both of these boys. Well, it's time to go invade. Take all but one. Help support the attack. Go ahead. We're going to smash through here as fast as we can. Maybe try to influence a pen. Oh, God. Oh, no. That's going to not be good for us. And circle Namur, maybe? If we could get up to Antwerp, that'd be great. Come on, push, 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 push. Oh, wait. You know what? At this point, Schlieffen. Schlieffen. Five days. We're going to Schlieff. Come on, come on, come on. We can't really win here. That sucks. Uh, you guys, hold on. I'm going to use you better. Von Mackinson, you're doing okay. Uh, I'll do cavalry defense just because we're using a lot of that right now. Even though it's probably better to do the other one. Come on. Five percent more attack will be done in a few days. We're running out of fuel already. Oh crap! I hate the influenza. We need more fuel. Hmm. Oh, it seems to be a problem. Close stuff. Develop a vaccine. Uh, I mean, we might as well. I doubt we'll be able to get it, but that's okay. Losses. 
Oh, we have actually not lost that many people yet. Just wait until I try to break into France. That's what... Huh. Yes, you wait. Someone's trying to invade in the Western Balkans. What else is new? Oh, we pushed into Belgium just a little tile. Actually, can they pierce my tanks? Oh, we can't really see if they can or not. Oh, that's a smart idea. Alright, let's move. Move around. Let's move around a little bit more. Shift these lines over and around a little bit. Not by much. That's okay. Militarization of the youth. Eh, the youth need to get involved in their uh, country's affairs, I think. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Well, we're not making any motorized whatsoever. We need more fighters, too. God dang it. Uh, that sucks. That really sucks. Go and do that. That's fine. Get more guns if we need them. Get more of that, too. That's fine. Cool. Next up, we shall do... Naval Aviation Corps says it doesn't do anything for us. Let's do Pacific Shipyards. We get a couple more Naval Dockyards. That's kind of nice. Kind of nice. Get our guys all the way over here. <clears throat> They're still attacking us. Balars will fall eventually once we attack them. Ooh, shippies. Nice. Alright, so soldiers are moved around. Now we need to concentrate our defenses. Or concentrate our firepower. We're probably going to move right there if we can. Oh, and they're attacking us. Well, I mean, if you want more dead boys, go go right ahead, France. Limited rearmament. Finally, they have 3 million manpower. They're only unlimited conscription. Holy cow. Then again, it's been several years since we've gone to war. You guys got a lot of people, too. Uh, yeah. Doctrine effort 3. Awesome. Go and grab that for now. German ground. Ooh, tactical bomber. Strategic bomber stuff. Oh, we'll try to get done as fast as possible. And let's start the Eastern Offensive. Boom, boom, boom. Not you, because you're against Italy. Thank you. Yeah, good luck trying to protect these guys. Good luck. Oh, wait, where's... You're up there. You're... Ah. Well, that should be okay still, regardless. We're just marching in, so it doesn't even really matter. All right, and they're attacking us on the line, which means we're going to have to counterattack very, very soon. Uh, can they pierce us? It's always just cavalry. Can't ever see if the tanks are getting involved or not. Maybe you know what? We'll lead with the. Eh, we'll try to lead with the tanks. We don't have that much fuel. Uh, terrible, I know. Terrible. Balars is rightfully capitulated. Now, that being said, I hope that... Oh! They have tanks down here, too. Even if we tried to attack right there, it probably wouldn't go very well. Good. Now, come right here. Get all the horses. Send half the guys this way as well. 58. We might be able to do something. We might not. The tanks can... Doesn't look like they can be pierced. Send half you guys. Help attack this way. And they've decrypted our ciphers. What? We got it. Nice. Tanks are doing okay, but we can only do so much here. Because we don't have enough fuel. God dang. We need to employ some more scientists to get more fuel. Because I don't want to try to import it. I mean, we could try. From two Mexicos. We could try it. You guys are still killing each other. Ah, man. God dang, Ukraine. God dang, Ukraine. You're looking mighty awesome right now. Now that's a nice central powers. That being said... Oh, you guys invaded. That sucks. Uh, you guys come over here. And do that. You guys are down here. You might as well put a little token force over here. In case the Finns do not comply with our needs. Because we have many needs and then you guys are just gonna hang out in the east for now uh let's see yeah you guys just kind of hang out yeah you just be that defensive army yeah gotta hang out for now good just give us more fuel as much fuel as humanly possible so really it's the air force that's using almost all the fuel which is insane 26,000 that's not bad they've lost a total of 2.6 million not bad not bad Reorganize ourselves a little bit more. Everyone on this tile. 
Actually, these two towers, we're going to break over here. Push them across the river. If they're going to continue attacking me, whatever. Ah, oh, we sent an enemy airplane. We lost the plane. You know, whatever. That's okay. That's okay. Mm, I, God dang it. I need more fuel. You know what? If we're going to have no fuel, we're going to sink everything around here for them. They want... Ah, oh, there you go. It's only one. It's only one. That's okay, though. Are we losing convoys? If not, that'd be great. Nice. You know what? If they don't want to sink Mexican things, I mean, I'll take as much as I can. I will gladly take as much as I possibly can right now. Uh, make sure we do Belgium as well. Luxembourg probably isn't too important. Let's see, where are we? Rubber, I'd love... You know what? They're not going to sink my convoys. You know, if they're not going to do anything about that, um... That'd be nice. I'll just take advantage of whatever I can take advantage of, you know. Nice. We have trapped them in Norway. They don't need food for where they're going. Wow, we've actually built up a lot of roads here. Holy cow, Königsberg. I know you need built naval dockyards there, but whatever. It'll get done eventually. Oh, yeah. Give Von Hipper a lot of experience. Look at that. Becoming a free fleet, a fleet protector, superior tactician, and an iron sides expert. Good. Good. This is beautiful. I'm loving this. This isn't McDonald's, but I'm still loving this. And they're taking our line like crazy. Well, if they're not going to sink my stuff, I might as well just buy as much oil as I can for Mexico. You know what? Let's play both sides. Can we play both sides of Mexico? Do they have... Hmm. Yeah, they're there. You know what? We love Mexico. We love Mexico so much, we're going to get fuel from them from both sides of their civil war. They're in a civil war, right? Yeah, they are. Oh, oh hell. Mm, Russia. Russia. Or Soviet Union, I mean. Or both of you guys. What are you doing? Anyway, let's do Chinese campaign. German investments. Hey, man, if we can make a good relation with the Chinese. I mean, we're allied with the Japanese right now. That's okay. Oh, the... Oh, I've never seen this one. The Amir Re Republic. Alexander. Alexander. God dang, we are really thirsty for oil. How have they not discovered, like, my shipping lines at all? This is ridiculous. Are they not putting any more soldiers here? Or... Hey, this is costing me fuel, man. Well, if that's the case, you can probably just march on in. You can probably take them out since they're not going to get any more supplies, probably. Good. Ah, oh, yes, oil production too. We need this. No, oh, actually, we don't need that. Fuel silos are okay. That looks really good. Let's get some of that. Nice. Why are they still attacking me? It makes no sense. You've lost how many guys so far? I mean, don't get me wrong. I love this. I'm loving this. But, uh... Hopefully, the French have changed, changed their uniforms so they're no longer showing up with... No, light blue uniforms, please. Uh, you guys honestly should be able to take them out pretty easily. Do I even want to put them on the line? Eh, we'll put them on the line anyways. And then retreat them just because we can. Whee! When can I build this? There you go. Uh, another Gallipoli. Ooh, we might need help defend them there. Probably. Another division. Another few divisions. We could probably stop making nearly as many divisions just because we really don't need to. Probably use them. Yeah, go down to three. Save my manpower a little bit. Cool. You guys, come on. Nice. Save the fuel. I'm going to leave this army up here just in case things go bad. There you go. Uh, we're kind of okay with it. Von Item. Nice. And we do have that other southern front, but we can probably return that to Austria-Hungary. Agent Captain, we must mount a rescue uh, mission. Uh, improve relations. Request. Oh, we can request garrison support. That's kind of nice. You guys, go right there. We're gonna use you because I think it'd be okay. Let Let's continue doing what we need to do around here with getting more intel. That's okay. Ah, oh, look at that fuel. Now we're finally getting more fuel back. Yes, yes, yes. So this campaign involves me basically just going to war, defeating the Allies or the Entente. UK, France, if we have to invade America, well, I'll figure a way out to do that. 
somehow, some way. We'll have to blow up their navy. I might do that a little bit off screen just because invading America takes so long. We might as do that. After killer groups, great. Yes, protect the capital ships. Good. 1918. I should probably focus a little more on guns, but as it stands, I mean, we're doing pretty darn well. Casualties, 3.52. They've almost lost over 700,000. Wow. The Barrage has lost a lot. France has lost so many. And you know what? The greatest thing about this, none of this destruction is, is, is occurring on German soil. You know, maybe, for, maybe except for Sud Tyrol, but that's okay. The Emir Republic, infiltration bombing, that's okay. Carousel bombing, nice. Uh, Able adoption, we could do that, or we could get better infantry stuff. There we go. Are we missing anything? Fighters, that might be a potential problem. If that's the case. Ah, the Irish! I love the Irish! We should improve German Irish relations, absolutely. Absolutely. Irish War of Independence. We welcome the Irish into the Central Powers. I was going about to say Viva la Ireland, but I don't think they say Viva la Ireland there. Probably. Alright, come on. I know we have trench warfare, but sometimes you just gotta sit in your trench and not attack me, guys. Like, this is maybe a little bit too extreme. I mean, I want von Hindenburg to attack instead of just defend all the time. So, um, they got 50, 100 divisions in Belgium. It might be a little extreme. Italy's attacking again because Italy is special. How is Persia doing? Well, the Japanese are there. Chinese campaign, very nice. We're done on this side. And we can go back over here and do Invasion of Finland. Let's see what happens. I can't imagine the Finns are extremely strong. They, I'm sure they have a little bit of an army, but... French Turkmen, Purple Pacific, yeah, a little, little bit of an army. It's good, they should have a little bit of an army. It's in progress. It'll be completed on July 28th. I love July 28th. It's pro when World War One began in our timeline. We're gonna rescue our guy. It might be my birthday. Whatever, you know, whatever. <sighs> now they stopped attacking. Oh, peace, peace. Who's this with? Ah, oh, yeah. Are you? Oh wait, no, no, you're a puppet. No, we don't like the Irish anymore. You Irish. Why? Why? Why well, be for second? Can we win here? I think it's time that we tried an attack. Send half you guys this way. Send the other half to help support the attack. Von Francois? Anything here? Can we push him out? I mean, there's literally almost 40 divisions here. Looks like we might be winning. I mean, we got enough fuel for this, so. And even though we might not be able to sleep in right now, I'm still okay with that. I'm sure... How much more manpower does Belgium have? None. Beautiful. Germany's not starving, as I said in other episodes, just because Ukraine is here. And there are puppet allies. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, try to develop a va vaccine again. That'd be good. Maybe get a little bit of the tism when that happens, but that's okay. Let's see you guys do that. Good, 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 good. Oh, yeah, you guys... Wow, they actually took the board. Oh, that's not good. That's really, really not good. Holy cow. Yeah, you guys gotta go immediately that way. Hanging out up there. That's fine. I'm very surprised they weren't able to hold that. Oh. You weren't even guarding that, so that makes sense. Go and do that too. Schlieffen. Oh. Oh, we were Schlieffen. No longer, I suppose, though. Just in case, since that happened... Guard these areas as well. Okay, we, we kicked them out. That's good. That's good. That's pretty good. How strong is the British Navy? Uh, they got quite a few battleships and quite a few destroyers, but that's pretty much it. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. There's only a 10% chance to actually develop a vaccine. But I think that's where we're going to end today's episode. I might play this just a little bit off-screen just because... They just keep running into my lines, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We finished off a good chunk more of Eastern Europe, Southern Balkan Europe, and Scandinavia, but I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow, as we hopefully will get into France and maybe tinker around with the British Navy. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.